Jason and I, we are junior scientists at BioBus, are here to teach you about how your body detects temperature. Sensory receptors help you feel things so in your environment around you. So for example, if you're hot you can feel or cold, you'll feel a certain temperature. Or if you get pinched, you'll have, that's your pain receptor that's in your skin. And these guys are just tiny cells that we can't even see with our own two eyes within within our skin. So that size is about the trillionth of a size of a period that ends every single sentence. Well, you guys all know Ant-Man and how he has the ability to shrink down into a really, really, really small scale. Imagine if you were Ant-Man and you had to explore the human body. Imagine how long that would take. And imagine the worlds upon worlds that is in that molecular scale. Molecular scale meaning, you know, small, smaller realms. Did I blow your mind? Dylan's gonna say hi. Hi. And we're doing this experiment with Dylan, the innocent child. And so first thing you want to do is put your hand in the coldish cold water. water. Yeah, coldish water. This? Yep, hold it in there. This. Put it in there. This is hot. It's too hot? Is it hot? Yes yeah. or no? Yeah. Oh, but does it? You should do this experiment again, but this time change up some of the factors that go into doing this experiment. Whether you change the amount of seconds your hand is in the water for, or you change how hot or cold the water is. Depending on it, you should see, you should record your observations on a piece of paper. And, and after that, you should do this experiment about three times, have three trials, or maybe even change the person that that you, who's doing the experiment and and make sure you write it down about three times and re record your observations and come up with the conclusion see scientists are like you and me curious always wanting to ask questions and always wanting to experiment with everything thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And also check out our other challenges that we have at the BioBus website.